Alright kids, this is just a little reference video, it's just for myself really, but if it helps anyone else then that is cool. It's how to create a Lambda function and an API on the world's worst admin panel. I'm speaking of course about AWS. Anyway, let's get this thing rocking and rolling. The first thing that we're going to do is set up the, blah 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 blah, the Lambda function. So head on into Lambda and uh, create a new function and click author from scratch and my function name is going to be dc try uh, actually dc lucky seven i've been trying a few of these you know choose an existing role well my role is uh, miserable i'm the miserable guy that's my role i'm not going to bother with policy templates it's a load of crap now i'm going to do uh, create function okay and it's creating and the excitement is quite unbearable. Yes, it is quite unbearable. Look at how slow this is, by the way. I wonder if this was the same crowd that made PayPal. Okay, congratulations, your function, right? So I'm going to change the function a little bit so that I know that it's working. So hello, Lucky7 from Lambda. That'll work for me. Now, uh, no point in clicking this save and test thing and you can leave all of this crap at the bottom. You don't really need it if we're just testing the thing, right? Just going to click save here. And that is it. That's it, okay? Do not click this triggers thing. Don't click this crap because you end up going round and round in circles. It's very badly made and it's a load of crap. So that's it. Okay, after you've done the function, get, get right out of there, as far away, ideally on another computer, like in another continent, you know, and then click on API Gateway. All right, here we go. So we're going to create an API. We have made the Lambda function. Now we're going to create the API. This API name for me is going to be called the Lucky7 API. You can call yours anything you want. Um, so, Lucky7 API, we can leave the description stuff. Here we go, it's all happening. Creating the API, blah, 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 blah. Next thing, we do actions create method. Now, I'm going to create a get vibe, right? So, it's just a page that you visit or a URL and it's going to do some stuff. So, I'm choosing get and I'm ticking that little blighter. You can see that it has selected my Lambda function. That's cool. So, I want it to fire the Lambda function. Leave that proxy stuff alone, it's a load of crap, and choose the region where your function lives. And for me, that's EU West 2, and uh, I can't remember the name of it. Was it the, yeah, there we go, DC Lucky 7, and save. We're going to give it permission, blah, 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 right, okay. Looking good, folks, looking fine. So here comes the most unhelpful page in the universe. This is the one where you go round and round in circles and uh, you basically give up. But I'm just going to click test, click this test thing and it says hello and that looks kind of quite promising. So if we go back to this drop down here and choose actions. Now we have created a method. The next vibe is to create a resource. And as far as we're concerned, the word resource just means path. In your mind, when you see the word resource, replace it with path. That's all it is. So I'll just call this one Lucky 7 Path. It does a little bit of completion and all of that stuff. And then, critical step, tick, enable API gateway cause. Otherwise, people who are using Chrome and whatnot are going to get blocked, right? So we do that. We create resource. Oh, yes. And there you go, it's all looking kind of cool. And finally, we go back to this thing and we deploy the API. Uh, the new stage is going to be test. You know, I'll just do that. Deploy. And it gives us a URL, which is cool. I'm now going to open that link in a new tab. And thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much indeed. How's about a thumbs up for the greatest, most honest tutorial ever created? It's a load of crap, that admin panel. But if you work with it, you can do some cool stuff. All right, now just to state the obvious, what I have just shown you folks is the most basic example imaginable. And as a matter of fact, probably the fastest example imaginable as well. Remember, 
that is completely wide open. And that's the reason actually why it, you, you had the screen going black and I had to kind of hide parts of the screen and whatnot. Remember, if some shyster out there finds out your uh, URL and they write a script that goes to the thing a gazillion times, well, who knows? You could end up shining someone's shoes for the rest of your life. So be careful with this, you know, and when you're doing this in a real production environment, then make sure you do have some security in there. But stay cool, thank you for being here, and I'll see you down the road. <laughs>